Parashat Daikra, we learned about Urbanot sacrifices. Nowadays, unfortunately, by Abonotenu Harabim, we are unable to bring Korbanot. We don't have the Beit HaMikdash Temple. Be'ezat Hashem HaKadosh Baruch Hu Yitzakirnanu. Bimhera Biyamenu to third Beit HaMikdash, third and the final, and then we will be able to bring Korbanot. So uh, our sages teach us that instead of the Korbanot, our tefillah comes to act as a Korban. Our tefillah, our prayer, really helps a lot. So in order to prepare for a good prayer, there are many things that one needs to keep in mind. One of the things that uh, I want to talk about is what I learned from Harab uh, Eliyahu Netanini Shalita, that before every tefillah, a person needs to make netilat yadayim, just like the netilat that you go come out after the restroom. Right? Wash your hands, make sure that your hands are pure spiritually. Okay? And before tefillah, you need to prepare what you are going to talk to Hashem. So perhaps come up with something new. Come up with something new, a new request. That as the uh, Mishnah in the Berachot says, a person should not make his tefillah a tefillah qeva. Right? It should not be a habit. Right? It needs to be something that every time we, we are mechadesh with davar, we we bringing a new request that we don't get you, uh, used to our prayers and every time it's a new thing to us. Another thing, it's important that if a person is able to go to mikveh before tefillah, that's why many sages uh, recommend and many Hasidim do this. Before tefillah they go to mikveh. Some of the Hasidim they go three times a day, believe it or not. They have a mikveh right, uh, uh, you know, by the Beta Knesset, they go to mikveh, they come out five minutes, and they go for, for, tra- for prayers. Now, if somebody cannot do that, obviously, right, uh, once a week or once before Yom Tov, Bezat Hashem, that helps. And the tefillah, the Hihuret Shubat that a person has by the, te- by the mikveh, before or, or by the mikveh, it helps a lot. It helps a lot for the prayers to be answered. Um, Another thing that one needs to keep in mind that if a person is wearing clothing uh, that are shatnes, uh, if he, he had suit, if he has suits or something and it wasn't checked for uh, you know shatnes, then that is something that could trigger that our tefillot get blocked. Right? So always make sure that the, uh, the clothing that you're wearing are shatnes free, especially before your tefillah. Um, another important thing is that when we pray to Hashem, right, um, it's not like we're going to Hashem to force Him to give us something. Hashem, give, 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 like those who, you know, always force. No, the tefillah needs to be in a requesting way. Right? You request, please, Hashem, I don't deserve it. Please, in the zakhut of my award, in the zakhut of my... You know, forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, please grant it to me. Right? That's why Harab Eliezer ben David Shalita, he always pays extra attention that the Shaliyah Sibur is somebody that is not going to pray in a, in a way that he is not asking, right? Always you need to be asking, you know, don't, don't, don't pray like somebody who, you know, He's, he's sure about himself that uh, he's, he's coming to force Hashem to give him something. No. Ask Hashem, please. Right. So it has to be with a lots of humbleness. When you come pray to Hashem, prepare yourself like a very humble person. And with that Hashem, with these uh, few steps, HaGadosh Baruch should help us that our tefillot are accepted. Takabel Berason, Berzat Hashem, whatever is best for us should be accepted. Benomar, Amen. Amen.